Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a journey that this has been. From the joint efforts of Tennis Australia, the Victorian government, coaches, physios, support staff, and most importantly, all of the players. There has been so much effort from so many, and it's all culminated tonight in a terrific final. Would you please put your hands together for the effort of everybody involved in this year's Australian Open? Well, joining us tonight for the presentation is the chair of Tennis Australia, Jane Herdlicker. We also have Eliza Chong. She's a very lucky member of the Ball Kids squad who will help present the Daphne Ackers Memorial Cup to our champion. Also with us is the tournament director, Craig Tiley, and our referee, Wayne McEwen. And I'd like now to invite the Tennis Australia Chair, Jane Herdlicker, up to say a few words. It's a great honour to stand here tonight and have the opportunity to recognise two of the world's best female athletes in Naomi Osaka and Jennifer Brady. Congratulations to both of them. The tenacity and drive and hard work on display tonight is an inspiration to many, and I'm sure there are millions of young women and girls watching tonight who will be motivated to work that much harder in pursuit of their own dreams as a consequence of watching this match. And Jennifer, your determination and grit tonight and for the last two weeks is super impressive. It wasn't your night, but you will be back here and you will be taking the trophy home with you the next time you do. And Naomi, if anybody had any doubt, you're a fighter at the core. Your tenacious spirit was on display in full force tonight. And it's not just on court, but it's off court as well. And in the last 12 months, you've stepped into your voice and you've made a huge difference in everything you've focused on. And it is truly inspiring and an opportunity for all of us to step back and look at the ways we can make a difference in the community. Thank you for that. And tonight, of course, it's not your first Grand Slam, it's your second Australian Open, it's your fourth Grand Slam, and we're excited to watch the rest of your career unfold. Now, as Todd indicated, this has not been the easiest Australian Open to stage. It is countless hours, months and months, with many people getting next to no sleep, with the drive to do one thing, and that is to bring a bit of hope to the world, that we're on our way back to normal, and live sport and fans in the stands should be the way of the future. So, well done. And there are a lot of people to thank in this process. At the top of that list is the Victorian government. We worked hard together to ensure that we could stage an Australian Open that kept the players safe, most importantly, the community safe, and enabled us to begin our journey to a new post-COVID normal. So thank you to the Victorian government. We really appreciate the support. to the Tennis Australia team who have worked doggedly for the last four months to find a way every time a new problem surfaced to make sure we could hold tonight with, stand, with fans in the stands. A huge thank you to all of you and all of the people who have come on site and worked tirelessly with rules changing, you know, five days stand down in the middle of it. Um, we've got an extraordinary team of people who've come together to make it possible to stage this event. So thank you to every one of them. And 
the players, it goes without saying um, that they work very hard to, to be professional tennis players. They work very hard in every event. But this event was particularly challenging given all of the requirements in order to keep the community safe. And everybody stood up and into that. And we're so proud of the way everybody worked together through constantly changing sands to make that possible. So thank you to the players as well. Our partners, Kia, you know, we go from strength to strength in our relationship with Kia, and we thank you for that. And every one of our partners has really worked closely with us. It was an adventure because we were never quite sure exactly what was ahead of us, and that proved to be the right way to manage the event. But together, we pulled it off, and we couldn't have done it without you, so thank you. And to our fans, you know, it is so good to have people in the stands and we look forward to a 2022 with even more of you. And thank you to those of you at home tonight. Thank you, Jane. Don't go far away. I'd like now to invite our chair umpire for tonight's final, Alison Hughes up for a gift and a memento of her work done here this evening. Well, this young woman continues to impress, making constant inroads to the top of the game. Tonight was not to be for her first Grand Slam title, but she has impressed and she is one of the rising stars of the women's game. Would you please welcome our finalist to accept her trophy and say a few words, Jennifer Brady. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, first, I would like to congratulate Naomi on, uh, you know, another Grand Slam title. Um, you know, she's such an inspiration to us all, and what she's doing for the game is amazing and getting the sport out there. And I hope, uh, you know, young girls at home are watching and are inspired by what she's doing. Um, I would like to... <laughs> I would also like to congratulate her team. Um, you know, obviously you guys are doing something special, um, pushing Naomi every day, and uh, she's only getting better. So congratulations. I would like to say thanks to my team, these two guys over there, Michael and Daniel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be standing here tonight, so thank you very much for everything that you've done for me, and let's keep going for more. Thanks to uh, Craig Tiley and his team, uh, Tennis Australia. Uh, you know, I was um, in the quarantine and they did everything possible for me to uh, make it as comfortable as possible. I was able to do everything I could in the room, and um, I appreciate everything that they did for me when I was there. So thank you. And also thanks to all the sponsors, ball kids, referees, chair umpires. Um, I mean, uh, everybody out here who came to watch to support me, it's really special to me. And um, all the fans back home watching, I know mom, you're watching right now in front of the TV, probably crying, so. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, I mean, it was special to play in front of fans in my first Grand Slam final. So hopefully I'm, you know, standing on this stage next time with, uh, with this girl over here. But tonight it wasn't meant to be, and um, hopefully there's many more. Thank you. Well done, Jen. Well, it's not often that an athlete transcends their sport, but this woman does. She has shown the world what she can do off the court, and she continues to dominate on it. Would you please welcome to collect the Daphne Akers Memorial Cup, 
the 2021 Australian Open women's singles champion, Naomi Osaka. called Jenny or Jennifer? Jenny. Okay. Firstly, I want to congrat Jennifer. Um, we played in the semis of the US Open, so a couple months ago, and I told everyone that would listen that you're going to be a problem, and I was right. <laughs> um, it's really incredible to, you know, for me, it's really hard to play you, and to see your growth um, over the past few months is really cool for me to see. and. Um, I know that you're probably working very hard, so I want to congratulate your team over there as well. Um, I know for me, um, my team's like my family, so I'm sure you guys have a lot of really cool adventures together, so congratulations to you guys as well. Um, And I know uh, you talked about your mom, so I'm sure she's really proud of you. And I for sure know that you know um, everyone, your friends and your family are definitely very proud of you. And I think we're going to play a lot more matches, so here's to that. <laughs> Um, and then I'd like to thank my team. Um, we've been, I've been with them too long. <laughs> a month and some change. Um, we've been through quarantine together and for me, they're like my family, you know. Um, they're the ones with me through my training, through my matches, through my, you know, nervous talks before my matches and I'm really appreciative towards them. So I really want to thank you guys and this one's for you. <laughs> Yeah, lastly, but not leastly, I want to thank you guys. Um, thank you for coming and watching. It feels really incredible for me. Um, I didn't play my last Grand Slam with fans, so just to have this energy, it really means a lot. Um, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, thank you for opening your hearts and your arms towards us. And uh, for sure, I feel like playing a Grand Slam right now is a super privilege and it's something that I won't take for granted. So thank you for this opportunity. Um, thank you to the ball kids, the volunteers, um, Craig Tiley, the tournament director, everyone for making this tournament possible. And um, hopefully we'll be back next year. So thank you guys so much. Congratulations once again to Naomi. That concludes the presentations, ladies and gentlemen. And remember, there is a mixed double still to come here on Rod Laver Arena. The players will come down to take some photos. Naomi will do a lap of honour with the trophy for anybody that would like to take photographs. Thank you very much for being here tonight. And we have a men's final to look forward to tomorrow night. Good night, everybody, and thank you. Well, there is the woman of the moment, Naomi Osaka. She is the future, there's no question about it. The future is now, and it's amazing. Nicole quickly, she's age 23, Brady 25, and for the eighth time in the past nine majors, the champion will be 25 or under. So women's tennis is uh, in good shape, but lots of really youthful champions uh, at the fore. Oh, it's definitely an exciting time and I think what we're seeing is a changing of the guard. Serena Williams has dominated the women's game for a long time and we are seeing a number of different champions winning Grand Slams and also players getting to finals that haven't been there before, like a Jen Brady. 
and certainly Osaka, she is the future. Is there anybody on the horizon that's uh, likely to, I don't know, steal her mantle in any shape or form? Well, of course, again, you know, she's not the number one player. Ash Barty is, and Ash Barty does have the game to beat an Osaka. But when she is in full flight, she is so difficult to contend with. Players aren't able to play the style of tennis that they like to play because she just takes away so much time. Yeah, well, it was a fabulous performance indeed. And uh, she's so determined, Naomi Osaka. Jen Brady did herself proud. She did the United States proud. And of course, in Japan, Naomi Osaka goes from uh, superstar to even bigger superstar. And uh, her lips are on the world, on the words of everybody who enjoys sport. And tonight we saw a cracker. Osaka, Grand Slam champion in Australia for the second time.